Tonight, top doctors are sounding off on what's next with the new wave of COVID-19. There will be a level of infection. This is not going to be eradicated. With the nation's COVID case count once again on the rise because of a variant, some big cities like Philadelphia are facing difficult decisions over making masks mandatory again. And as our Lydia Esparra reports, local doctors are watching what happens in other parts of the country very closely. It's a very different world right now than it was a year ago. A year ago, we were still in masks and trying to decide if we could get together for the Easter holiday. Well, the answer is yes. It's safe to do so long as everybody is vaccinated and boosted. Dr. Amy Edwards with Infectious Diseases at Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital says, while our circumstances with COVID have changed, the science has not. Those unvaccinated and unboosted people who participate in these super spreader events will unfortunately some percentage of them will still land in the hospital and will continue to see COVID mortality. COVID cases are up in 27 states. In Washington, D.C., 77 people have tested positive after attending a dinner, some of them in President Biden's inner circle. The new COVID variant, BA2, is likely the cause. Right now, we're watching it very, very carefully. And there is concern that it's going up. Dr. Anthony Fauci says BA2 is more contagious than the original Omicron, but it's not as severe. Symptoms include fever, chills, cough, and fatigue. And last week, the CDC cleared people 50 and older to get a second booster. They can just rest at home. It's going to basically be like kind of a mild to moderate cold. Dr. Edwards says there is no vaccine in human history that has had this much data taken, and it's safe. And if you want to get together, do it, but get vaccinated. There is now a mountain upon mountain of data showing both how safe and effective this vaccine is. Now, the city of Philadelphia is reinstating its indoor mask mandate. It's the first major city to do so. That's because the number of cases are 50% or higher than it was 10 days ago. And Betsy, you can bet we are closely watching the numbers here in Northeast Ohio. We certainly are. And of course, Ohio now only updating uh, the coronavirus website, their statewide website on Thursdays. So we will be anticipating That's for a big sure. release on Thursday. All right. Thanks so much, Lydia.